Today's show is brought to you by How Do I Create a Podcast.com. Want to create your very own podcast to promote you and your business? Learn how you can become a rock star podcaster in 30 days or less. Just visit How Do I Create a Podcast.com. That's How Do I Create a Podcast.com. You know, that because we each have our own imprint, we each have our own style as well. Yeah, of course. And, of course. Um, and I think having having the 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 confidence, um, it's not something I mean, some people can fake it, but man, it's really difficult to fake it. There's an energy and it will get more difficult. It will get yeah. more difficult. We are not in the time anymore. This was still OK until maybe 12 years ago. Yeah. But yeah. we're now moving into a time it will we will see those things crumble. Like they will crumble in the next 20 years so hard, you know, like governments, so many things, you know, like that faked it. Um, yep. yep. Oh, I hear be... you, sister. I hear you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Out of the Box with Christine. Are you willing to step into your greatness? Are you ready to shine? Well, get ready, Truth Seeker. You're in for an amazing ride. And now, here's the host of the show, Christine Blasdale. Welcome back to Out of the Box with Christine. I am your host, Christine Blasdale, your expert authority business coach, helping overwhelmed entrepreneurs and solopreneurs get the word out about their amazing business, amazing coaching programs, all that good stuff through podcasting, YouTube, TikToks, you name it. And today I'm very happy to have on the show someone who is going to enlighten us a bit about how we can tap into our own abundance, which for many, especially solopreneurs, you know, it might be a little elusive, that whole abundance, uh, the idea of manifesting that within us. But also we're going to tap into how we can build our confidence and how confidence really can sell your brand and who you are and the gifts that you have to offer the world. So without further ado, I want to welcome my guest, Crew Von Holzendorf Feeling. How'd I do, Crew? Oh, you did so good. Did I do it? Man? Okay, okay, okay. Yes. You have one of the you have you have one, two, three, four names in your name. Yes. Yes, it's a it's a lot of name. Can you imagine my kids that had to learn to spell that in America? Yes. <laughs> but we'll call you crew. That's that's yes. that's it. Yes. So um yes. so welcome to Out of the Box with Christine. Thank you very much for having me, Christine. So um I was saying as bef before we got started, I was saying your the backdrop, the 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 scenery uh, of where you're at right now is so beautiful. Can you tell people where you're where you're recording from? I guess I'm in Santa Fe, in the desert of Santa Fe, like half hour outside of Santa Fe, New Mexico. So back there is only desert. You oh, see? stunning, stunning, <laughs> amazing. It's so beautiful. Yes, yes, it's really beautiful here. And and um and you're following your heart and your your in, in, intuition and um going to be relocating. But let's let's get down to the nitty gritty because you've been helping people, you know, um all around the world with your coaching and your energy healing and helping them navigate where they should be right. No matter where they are, if they're in the big city or if they're in the desert in New Mexico, um, talk yeah. about a little bit about uh, the programs that you have for your clients. Yeah. So really mainly uh, what I work with people is to find their own way, because what we really have to come down to at the end of all of this, amazing game of creation is that every one of us has a very specific purpose in a place like we think of it as a puzzle and every one of us is one piece of that puzzle and only if we are this puzzle piece that we truly are we could we will be, be beneficial to the whole picture so if we tap into things that are maybe not so much our things you know like it's very hard to become successful or to become confident with those things because we're really not that you know we we are 
this maybe let's call it like the yellow and green puzzle piece but we see this pink and red one at uh, from someone else and we think oh my god that looks so good i want to be pink and red as well yeah i don't want to be yellow and green um or it could be very subconscious you know like it often is not even aware to us so my whole work focuses on you understanding what is your puzzle piece like i mean what is your true um quality and um and gift that you bring to this whole big picture and then make you become at peace with it because a lot of times we are not at peace with what we really are because we have been ingrained so many ideas through childhood and society and many lifetimes you know like that we believe maybe what we are is not good enough or it is not appropriate for the society you know like i mean so many people struggle with finding their their place because they think it's not what others expect of them it could be as easy as just the parents but then it you know it's it's wives and husbands and and then maybe children that they think they need to live up to or so there's so many reasons that keep us from being who we truly are and uh, that keeps us from being abundant and uh, inside and out because how can we ever be anything abundant if we're missing completely that treasure that we are because we are all all of us exactly the way how we're meant to be we are that amazing treasure it's just that we have no access to being that out of like the sad reasons and so this is really everything that i do is revolving around you becoming aware and comfortable with who you really are and then um yeah, like uh, creating from that space and that will eventually uh, create the abundance inside and out and also the confidence that we're looking for. Oh, ex exactly. You know, I have quite a few clients that come to me who are experiencing that imposter syndrome and they know yeah. they have a passion, they have a, a pull that they want to, if it's either creating a, a podcast for their business or a YouTube channel or TikToks or whatever. And, and even though they have that pull and that passion, like they know that they need to do this, they want to do this, they want to share their wisdom or their expertise. And there'll be that imposter syndrome where they're in the back of their head, they're thinking, who's going to, who wants to listen to me? Or who, you know, who's going to think that I've got the key or can help them in some way? And that's a big that's a big obstacle to sort of uh, overcome. And I have my ways of working with people. But but how do you deal with that when you have someone who has that imposter syndrome? Mm -hmm. So most of the time, I, I, I'm very I'm German. I don't know. Maybe people know or they, they could have guessed with that crazy with the name. name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so Germans are very direct as everybody knows so I'm very all my practice is very loving like but it's also very direct like I will I will go right to where maybe it's uncomfortable or even hurt sometimes you know like and be very honest about the what I what I perceive you know like as okay this can work and this because this is who you really are and this is just something that you're trying to do because you think it's something that people want to see you know like so I, I will be very honest about this and and go mainly not to that topic like I will look what is behind that imposter syndrome you know like why why are they even believing that they have to do this why do they not trust what else is there you know like so I will often I will do so many rounds around topics and people ask me, so so why are we not talking about this problem that I have? Like, I'm like, because your problem is not your problem. You know, like we, we need to work our way in. We need to move things where they're able to move. We need to tip the domino that will tip all the other dominoes, you know, like that, that we need now until we get to that one domino that, you know, like that is that problem, you know, like, but first we have to 
saw so many other things because if we throw seeds in the air, you think there's trees growing in the air? No, they don't. They don't. So we have to create a foundation. And um, the foundation is created by healing the things that keep us away from all of the um, the things that really work for us. Like, for instance, I have um, maybe as an encouragement to other coaches that are listening and, and healers, you know, like I haven't had a website in 20 years. I haven't had a, I, I have an Instagram channel and I have a Facebook page, but they're all private. You know, like I, I hardly ever use them for anything. Um, Like I don't have TikTok and I have a YouTube channel, but this is also very inactive. So I don't do any advertising and still I always have a wait list is because I live what I do and then it works. I only do what I'm good at. I never try to take on clients where I know I'm not the right person for, then I find a colleague that is much better for these people. Like I'm never afraid that I could not have enough work or something like this. Like I project that if I am full with what I am good at, you know, like then I don't need to take anything else on. And then also I project full and what I get reflected is full because the universe is a mirror. What we project is what we get reflected. If we constantly think we have to do something other than what we truly are, then we project lack. But if we, and then what we get reflected is lack, so it won't work. So I'm going very deep, you know, like under, under the, under every problem, there is a much deeper cause, you know, like, and to repair that, and that has often so little to do with these things that we experience in the outside. That's much, usually a much bigger um, thing. So clients stay with me in, in the most part for, for one year. And that's my main program is that somebody commits to one year, very intense. Um, it's a lot of time that we spend um, with each other, like uh, very intimate uh, because we're going to deep, deep, deep and honest. <laughs> and uh, um, But then it, most of them have achieved that change after a year and they don't even know how they got there because we took so many small steps that had so little to do with what they initially came for, but then they have created that change over this year and then not knowing how, but it's so lasting because it's so fundamental that they will be able to continue in this change without me being there in their life, you know, like, which is a really important topic for me. I don't want clients to to be reliant latch on yeah. yes 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 yeah, yeah. same yeah. same here well because i think also you know you're a teacher you know in addition yeah. to being a coach you're a teacher and teachers or leaders the the best thing that you can have is that you teach someone and then they can go off and create and do you know it's just that ripple effect right yes. which i think yes. i find i'm the same way i don't i don't want anyone to depend upon me but to come yes. to me when they um, when they need something um, that's vital. And I'm the same as you. Uh, if I feel that I cannot uh, help my a client that comes to me, mm -hmm. if I'm not mm -hmm. the right person, then I will send them to someone, you know, you know, can I build a website? Yes. Do I want to build a website? No. Right. Uh, you know, can I self publish my books? Yeah, I, I knock them out. But do I want to be a publisher and publish other people's books? No, no way. <laughs> you know, so I'll, 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 I'll have, I have people that I can refer, you know, out to that. So I, I stay in my yeah. lane, so to speak. Yeah. And, and that's how you're successful. I am. Always. Yeah. Every I one am. of us. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, like, it's that simple, actually. <laughs> it's, it's not that simple. I understand it. You know, like if you're not there, then it's not simple, but uh, it sounds simple. Well, and, and going back to a bit of that imposter syndrome um, uh, that, or those limiting beliefs, you know, it could be something that someone said to you in a schoolyard, you know, 50 yeah. years ago, that mm -hmm. even though you've, you've gone through life, you've gone through your trials and your tribulations, you went to college, you went to do all this stuff, you're a professional this or that, and those words that might have been said to you when you were five years old or six years old 
they can still or be even younger or even younger. Yeah. You're right. They can still be with you. And, um, and I think a lot of people don't realize that that that's something that we have to kind of deal with approach and deal yes. with. Right. Yes. The biggest mistake that most, uh, um, people make is not to work on themselves especially when they're people for other people you know like if they serve in their in their profession other people and um, they're so um, how do you say like their their interest is so in helping others they forget to help themselves but it's like it's the most vital information that you can project into the universe mirror is that i care for myself self-care because if you have self-care and, and, and healing is part of self-care, and asking for help is part of self-care. There's all of that says, I can be helped. Like I have faith that whatever I have, I can overcome. Like I can heal. I, I am honest with myself. And like that all projects so much abundance because self-care is self-love. You know, like that is, again, it's, an, it's a, the essence of abundance. So what we project is what we get reflected. So we have an abundant amount of clients or whatever other way uh, abundance can come around with. So it's so important to work on, on, on these things on a fundamental level, like meaning childhood. Um, but sometimes it's not only childhood, you know, like it's the whole coming in, you know, from the minute that the soul has chosen um, to enter this, plane here and uh, if there's so many hiccups alone on that um, path so I think that um, a really big bonus for anybody that has their own business and actually I have to tell you like a lot of CEOs that run big companies corporate you know like where they would never ever um, say out loud that they <laughs> Do they have spiritual teachers on their staff? <laughs> like they do. Did you know that podcasting is the new gold rush? Companies like Apple, Google, and Amazon certainly know that it is. And that's why they're wanting more podcast shows from interesting and beautiful souls just like you. Christine Blasdale is the author of the number one Amazon bestseller, Your Amazing Itty Bitty Podcast Book. And she wants to help you get your very own podcast out into the world. So to book a free podcast strategy session with Christine, visit christineblasdale.com. Again, that's christineblasdale.com and schedule a consultation. And trust me, you'll be happy that you did. But that's yes, also the sign of a good teacher is, is, is teaching or coaching where someone is at as opposed yeah. to... You know, I, I with my clients, I'll, I'll say, you know, is there a more technical, hard way to create a, a podcast for your business to promote your business through a podcast or a YouTube channel? Yes, there is. Is if there's, you can go very complicated, or you can do it a very simple and easy way. And even yeah. though I guide them in a simple and easy way, I know that sometimes that's still a lot for them. You know, yeah. so yeah, um, of course. Depends on who is in front who, of you. Who right? it is. I have a client that's 75 yeah. years old and she wanted to create a <laughs> podcast. Uh, she's a Reiki master healer and she had a, she has a practice that's in Los Angeles, but she could only see so many people coming to her in this little yes. place, you know, mm -hmm. and one, you know, one client every hour, two hours. And now she has a pot. She's got like 80 episodes. She's got a YouTube channel. And, you know, at first she was afraid of the technology and I said, we're going to just, we're going to, have you been on a Zoom call before? She said, yes. I said, <laughs> okay, then I said, you could be a podcaster. And she went, what are you saying? Like, you know, she's from Brooklyn. She's from New York. I love New Yorkers. Yeah. But she, she, uh, she trusted me to guide her. That's the thing as a coach, yeah. as a yes. teacher, as a, you know, you, you do have to develop that trust factor that you're not going to mm -hmm. leave them in the dust or that you're going to be talking so exponentially that they are left going, what is she saying? I feel stupid or I feel less than so, yes, uh, but yes. that is the sign you're, you're just, you're adjusting yourself for that person. Yeah. Yeah. And that builds the foundation for anything that comes for them afterwards. Right. So absolutely. It's a, 
Yeah. And it's like there's so much in every one of us. We just have to come from the right angle and make it. And, and sometimes this, I had clients where I really fought most of the year, almost nine months into intensive work. I was like, mm. I have actually never this moment until like with some specific people I had it. And I was like, are we ever going to get there? And then it was, <laughs> you know, like at month 14, it was all, all this, all the thick links connected and everything was there. And it really didn't look like, but I just continued the same way. And I had, I, I felt it is still the right path, you know, like, so, and then all of a sudden it was all there. And this is, I think, uh, that's the foundation building. And sometimes that takes longer. Sometimes this is very many little things that have so little to do with the actual change that you want to come about, you know, like, and then all of a sudden it's there. So that's just like this, this woman has now the chance to be really big, but the, the learning of this technology stuff has probably taken so much more time than anything else that she already knows so well. You know, like, I mean, it's a kudos to her that she did that with 75. <laughs> well, now she has the, you know, she, 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 she'll tell, she'll, and she's so lovely. She's like my, my little cheerleader. She'll say that, um, she'll say that I gave her the confidence, but really she had that inner, she had that inner strength and that inner confidence. And she knew that the end goal which was to reach more people and to yeah. have, you know, powerful um, uh, episodes that really move people that, that are, it's such a good positive message as well. Yeah. That yeah. she knew that that was the goal that was the most important, more than what she looked like or what she sounded like. Yeah. yeah. And that's how I, when I'm working with someone who has a little bit of that imposter syndrome thing, I'll say, what's, what's your goal with this? What do you, what do you want to do? Oh, well, I want to help people yeah. or I want to, um, incur I want to inspire kids to become an artist or whatever the, whatever the goal is. Mm -hmm. then say, then think about those focus on those kids or focus on the yes. audience and not yourself. Exactly. And then also, um, understand that when you truly live what you're doing, you will sell anything, you know, Absolutely. like, I mean, it, it's like, it's like, I'm telling you, like, I'm no 49, almost 50. And it's, it's like, I don't wear makeup ever on, not during the day and not on a show or anything. Like, I just don't care. Like, I, I mean, I think that what I live is what is what is showing. And and in my case, you know, like I want everybody to be truly who they are. I'm not dying my hair by gray uh, now, getting gray. Um, because if I do all these things, um, and I'm actually trying to make everybody my my product is to help people to be confident and abundant in what they truly are. And I'm putting so much mm -hmm. makeup on and 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 I'm changing all my my style and things like this, then I don't know how, how that aligns with the message, you know, like, so if that's, let's say you are selling makeup, you know, like that's your business, you know, like that, and you're not never wearing any, you know, like then I would also question the alignment yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of, of that, you know, like, or, um, but if you, if you're selling art to little children, then it's, it's really, how can I reach these little creative beings? And and the best way to reach them is to show yourself as that creative being that you are. And so really, it boils down always to being that, like, you are really cool, Christine. You know, like, I, I mean, when you just said to me that you did uh, radio shows and producing, uh, yeah. I, I could totally, <laughs> I could see it, you know. Like, <laughs> and your whole style and the way how you are in front of the mic and how natural you are you you really live what you what you do you know like and that is what that's what sells you know like that would if I had any question now about how can I create a podcast or or anything I know exactly where I'm going there you because go you, you're you're truly in live and live in that you know like and and I can feel it so yeah. I have confidence yeah. that you will show me the way how to get there if, if that's what I want to do you know like so that's how anybody can sell anything to me if they show me 
they're living what they're what and, they're selling and they're confident in in their in their ability you know that because we each have our own imprint we each have our own style as well yeah, of course and of course. um and i think having having the 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 confidence um it's not something i mean some people can fake it but man it's really difficult to fake it there's an energy and it will get more difficult it will get yeah. more difficult we are not in the time anymore this was still okay until maybe 12 years ago yeah but yeah. we're now moving into a time it will we will see those things crumble like they will crumble in the next 20 years so hard you know like governments so many things you know like that faked it um yep, yep. oh i hear be... you sister i hear you yeah yeah <laughs> This 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 <laughs> idea of of greed and um, scarcity model and all of that I yeah. do I really too do believe that we will um, I've I already have embraced it and I love it is doing co ventures you know working with like, instead of going it alone going it alone 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 yeah and having that thing of I can't share my you know <laughs> a lot of coaches do that too where they're like no it's mine you yeah. can't have her yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah but I believe yeah. that 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 collaborative uh, drawing it it's like the marvel you know the you know you got iron man and you got wonder woman yeah. and you got you know iron man alone can't fight evil no no you, know, you have to have the the, the whole team and yes. so i do believe that that's the new paradigm although we might be forced into doing that at some point you know what covid the whole covid thing actually created more entrepreneurs and allowed more yes. people to yes. step outside that box of having a job and having, you know, all that stuff. And, and it really did open up a lot of opportunities and women in be created businesses like that. And communities and, and school, yes. like how to educate kids, you know, like all of this old structure, you know, like suddenly didn't, wasn't available anymore. So people came up with amazing ideas and did so many new things like i think i've always said it like from the beginning i mean it's horrible for everybody that had to suffer you know like through through whatever it was you know like i don't want to step on anybody's seat here uh, but but it was a really good thing for this humanity um this whole break that everybody had to take and this being thrown upon yourself because you're suddenly in solitude where you were busy and distracted before, you know, like, and then you had to ask yourself, why is it so hard to be alone with myself? You know, like, and, 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 and I mean, a lot of problems for people occur, occurred through that, but these problems let, like I always say behind crisis is abundance because you learn so much. Like if any a big healer would come and say, Hey, I can take all the crisis out of your life. Um, I would say, Ciao, ciao. Uh, I don't want to talk to you any longer because yeah. I can tell you my crisis is, or is that even a word? But uh, more than one crisis. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was uh, what brought me to who I am today. This is what Thanks. makes me so e extremely empathetic to everybody that is. Uh, no matter if it's in a job or in life with me, like I, I don't have to be upset about anything because I know there's always a reason for everything. And I know because I've been there and yeah. I had to go through it. I know how much endurance and resilience sometimes life asks for and, and that you're not always nice and patient about it <laughs> you know? and so when somebody's grumpy to me i know they're, they're not really grumpy at me like their life is just like whatever yeah. it is right now but it, it's it's behind that is so much abundance and so so i think the covid crisis was an amazing thing uh to happen for the greater context you know like of what what we're moving towards as as humanity and that said, even though there was some also some some wonderful things that did uh, occur of it, there is I do believe there's still like a a global PTSD, you know, that we are yeah. still yeah, and, absolutely. And, and as humans, we're so adaptable, you know, as well in children as well. Like, you know, something can happen and we're like, OK, well, let's just, you know, get back up on the horse and 
go. And that's what, you know, and people were so much so happy to, and relieved when things started to open up again, too, so that they, they were like, well, we'll just forget that chapter of our lives. Right. It's like being in a really bad marriage and you're like, OK, 10 years of my life were spent with this psycho whatever. Uh, but now I'm you know, now I'm going to the gym and I'm, everything's good. You still have that PTSD. Yeah. Yeah. Because absolutely. people you couldn't visit, you know, if you if you had a, yeah. I mean, if you had a dying relative, you couldn't be with them. Ah, yeah. Yeah. This- I know my dad uh, had surgery in that time. Um, and uh, it was very life-threatening surgery, and I was there, and all I could do is go to the, in Germany, you know, like into the uh, parking garage, you know, like, um, so you, I could wave from the parking garage to his window, <laughs> like I was not uh, able to see him, and um, this was really like, like an emergency uh, aneurysm, uh, aneurysm. Oh my gosh, yeah. Aneurysm. Yeah, so so is that could have gone any any way right like uh, but there was no way they would not let me even though i'm his daughter i could not um um go visit not for the and then when he was better you know like uh, things calmed down of course then the boredom comes you know like then you want to really visit and help get through all this uh yeah uh, yeah but but there was no no way no no not on intensive and that's care traumatic. And in, that is that's yeah, traumatic and especially if one especially loses, for a lot of yeah, yeah if you lose also elder people if you lose a, a a parent or when they're going through that to be alone you know to to be al- well alone meaning you know i mean they, they might have doctors near them or a nurse or something but not to have their family their 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 spouse uh, that yeah that is traumatic and that's the thing that we do need to we need to work on i think now yeah. um on yeah. on healing instead of just saying okay that was a you know ah that was you know yeah was it's over with ago. <laughs> yeah but um but my it's goodness, like childhood think, you know huh? it's, just, it's the same thing that we talked initially about you know like uh, oh childhood that's long long over you know like i got it like uh, a lot of us have PTSD from childhood events and and we don't know that we have it because we're so good at suppressing these in order to survive the next day yes. you know like a, yes. um we're very very well equipped to suppress um but eventually it will come from behind you know like and then we have to deal with it and this will be the same thing here on a global level um let's see how we deal with it because we have very new times times that we have never had um since this creation started and uh, so it's it's a really uh, an, an amazing time right now because so many things are possible just like your mother always said you can do whatever yes. you want to do like uh, it, now the time says everything is possible every path that you guys want to take it's possible so what i love to tell everybody that meets me somewhere wherever it is here on the net or in on a conference or in in a session or whatever is like i want you to know that you're worth everything just because you are and there's nothing that you have to achieve and nothing have that you have to be or do or anything other than what you truly are and that that learning that and really reminding yourself of that over and over and over again will create so much beautiful um, change in your life and also so many opportunities to really become abundant and confident in what you really are. So it's it's accepting yourself as worthy just because you are and not of what you have done or how you look or, or how, how well you're situated in the in the society. So this is because that's really the truth. The truth is that we're all worth everything the the um i i'm not i didn't grow up in america like we've only been here for 13 years and when i came here i I learned about fred rogers so all you americans know fred rogers and he said this he said that same message and then in the 40s to children and i think that I thought when I learned about this, I thought how beautiful that there was somebody that actually reminded everybody of this really essential truth 
because I, I think he's the only one that I've ever seen on on a big scale like that. You know, like where really every kid knows Fred Rogers, Fred Rogers here in 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 the states. And um, that was the first time that I heard somebody say that in that way on such a broad level. And I think I just want to say how much he was right because the truth is I can see the whole of everybody like. Uh, uh, I don't see just with my eyes like I see all of you every every thing that you are from the beginning till the end and I can tell you he's right we are so precious every one of us is so precious and it does not matter like babies they can't do a thing they can't do a thing they can't go to the bathroom alone they can't eat alone you know like, i mean they can't do anything and we think they're so precious so why do we forget that we can stay precious even though we can't do a thing you know like and then you know of course our parents think we have to learn so early so many things in order to be better but we were already so precious when we were born how can we not stay precious without having to do anything you know like so so the truth is we really don't we are everything all the time and even though you right now may not know how to be all that preciousness that you are or you have no feeling to that or just know it in the beginning just keep telling yourself in the beginning and eventually your system will react to those words that you tell yourself that you are precious and and then who knows what you're surprised yourself with <laughs> you never know what can happen from that because yeah. the universe is listening yes. always. It's always listening it's always listening it's always listening to you your what your yes. thoughts and what especially what we speak oh that's why they call yeah. it spelling right is as well yes, yes casting a spell yeah. thank you yeah. so much yeah. crew i uh it, let me thank know you. Any, you are welcome back anytime and uh please just keep me updated on what you what you've got going on and we can make sure that our listeners and our viewers um also are updated as well so thank you so much for joining me today crew uh yeah been thank awesome. you for having me yeah, it was so fun. That <laughs> <laughs> was great. Woo, we could keep going forever. Um, uh, yes. Thank you. Uh, I also. feel the same way. <laughs> ah, thank you. Okay. okay how many hours do you're, we have? <laughs> you're lovely. Absolutely lovely. And thank I want to thank you, wonderful uh, listeners and subscribers to the podcast. Of course, you can listen to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, uh, Pandora, Amazon, all those great platforms. But also you can watch the video of the uh, podcast episodes on YouTube. Just look for Out of the Box with Christine. If you want more information about the show, you can go to outofthebox.withchristine.com. And if you want more information about my coaching programs, it's christineblasdale.com. And don't fret if you don't have a pen. Um, all those links will be in the show notes. You can just click on those links as well as the website for my wonderful guest, Crew Von Holzendorf Feeling. But we're just going to call her Crew. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. And as I always say Thank at the you. end of these shows, um, re please remember to think outside that damn box. Okay. Yes. Bye for now. Yes. 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 <laughs>